Hello everyone and welcome back for what's probably going to be the final episode of Diablo 3 for this season. We need one more Greater Rift Keystone so that we can level our final gem up to level 70. Uh, so we're going we're gonna to run and do a regular Rift uh, just to grab that Keystone and then we've got enough money to be able to empower uh, the Greater Rift. Uh, we'll finish that off and then we'll... we'll We'll push things as high as we can with what's left and see see how we get on. Now, to get this greater keystone quickly, I should be focusing on the champion packs, really. Oh my god! Can't, can't see anything. Couldn't couldn't even see if I'd properly killed those guys. Right. Good progress. Good progress. Just you know, with the mirror images and them being massive and all that, it's just hard to see what's going on. Explode you. Put down our Hydra in a slightly different place. Don't run away. It's decidedly unhelpful when I'm trying to get you killed. That looked like another freeze of deflection landed. There is a lot of knockback in this rift. And I do not like it. Moving on, halfway through the rift. Uh, progress is going well, but that area was just a bit busy. Yeah, so with the uh, with the development of Diablo 4 continuing in the background, we're not going to hear anything about it for a while, and probably the next time we do, it'll be when it's a bit closer to being uh, finished so like maybe like a year away still uh, that's that's blizzard close if they uh, if they say it's getting close to being finished i would expect it around about a year on from that point we're going to have a long time to think about the kinds of characters uh, that we're going to want to take in and why it's going to be the druid because the druid was just like the best character. Turning into a werewolf, getting your your life leech. Off. Life leech as an actual mechanic was really good. I I thought it was a brilliant mechanic. Not having it in um, in Diablo 3 drastically changes the way you approach uh, the problem of combat. So. It's quite a stylistic change from the known universe as well, because there was Life Leech on uh, on things in Diablo 1 as well, from what I remember. I mean, that was quite a while back. So I'm I'm curious to see how they progress things, like if they if they stick with the tried and tested, if they go for something completely new. Um. I really hope that they bring it back. I have, I, I said it in the last episode. I really hope that the uh, the magical affixes they have are interesting, and the ones that you get on rare items aren't the same as the ones you can get on unique ones, and, and vice versa. I do like what they've um, they've done with the whole concept of the um, legendary slash unique items in that. The legendary bit is the name, and it could spawn on like a chest armor or some boots or or a helmet. So that's an interesting idea in itself. Let's 
get that comically oversized sword. Right, Rift Guardian time. So many great Rift Keystones that we do not need. Okay, I am heading back to town. We are handing this in. Ah, oh, try that again. I am heading back to town. We are handing that in. And then we are going to finish this season journey. Garrigan level 650. That's a good point to, to finish it off, isn't it? I mean, we'll be above that when, when we're actually done. So, it's not another primal ancient freeze of deflection. That's good. I think all of this is just going to go under the hammer. Yeah, none, none of it's interesting for us. Okay, and with the rift closed, let's do this. Great rift, level 80. And we focus on the mobs that are going to get us the most progress. Now, I'm I'm playing this character like that. Um, this is very much based on the Demon Hunter strategy with the Impale build. Um, it's not about mass killing of mobs it's, a, it's about being efficient with which ones you do kill because you're you're over killing most most things you come into contact with um but if i was doing um the chandotto's and veer's combination that would be quite different we wouldn't be looking to do that we'd be looking to kill everything that we run up against Yeah, there was one that I missed all the way at the back. Now, I have noticed that our, our death triggered before. I think I must have just been taking too much damage for Galvanizing Ward to really uh, trigger and help us. Which can happen if you're not really paying much attention to it. Hello, guys. Allow me to just explode on you for a moment. Have a Hydra. Yeah, I thought you'd like that. Everyone likes a Hydra. Okay, moving on. Big explosion on these guys. Sort of. They sort of ran away from me. That's alright. We can, we can do them with a the hydra. Or another explosion. The point is we've got options because we have time. When you're that far ahead of the time limit. It's, it's never going to be a question of if you kill things. It's just going to be a question of when. Unless they're healing. I'm really glad that there isn't healing mobs in this because that would... That would be an annoying mechanic to have to deal with. Oh, of course, yeah, we, we're using our resources, so we're not going to get the Aquila Curus bonus. Oh, that's fine. At this level, it's fine, but we'd want to avoid speed pylons when we, when we push in high. More packs down. Ooh, big group of flying things. It's just exploding one go on them. Need more time. 
And come down to the power pilot. Find the next champion pack. This isn't quite going to be like a benchmark for us, but it's going to be a good indicator of the speed we want to be doing in order to feel comfortable. And at 89, we are not going to be feeling comfortable at all. Ninety seven per cent. Sure, let, let's get the shield pile in just so this isn't even going to be a question. Okay, ten minutes, fifteen seconds left. Uh, she, please give us our season journey reward. There we go. Guardian is complete. Alright. I will take the time to ID and put our levels in. And uh, none of this is, is interesting. So that will all get salvaged up. So, with the season journey done, um, we get the portrait frame. Yay, great. Already have that one. Uh, we get the other portrait frame. That one's new. Uh, and this ugly cat goblin thing. Let's... Lacuni cub. There we go. I mean, I suppose it's a kitty, isn't it? We, we do love kitties. Doesn't look like Amos, though. Does not look like Amos. Um, right, so we have three Greater of Keystones left. We're going to jump 10 levels all the way up to 90. Um, we can afford to empower this one, so we may as well. And this is going to start getting very difficult very quickly. We are looking for the elites. Because we're going to need them for the, for the progress. And ranged mobs are not going to help us at all. Right, this will do. The shielding also not helping us in killing them. Okay, we're just about keeping time. We need more elites. More interesting things to kill. You will do. That was a little bit painful, but not too bad. We are now slightly ahead of time. Pushing up, looking for the next one. This area is not great for champion packs. At least it hasn't been great so far. Okay, that gives us a little bit of a buffer. I mean, it won't take us long to kill the Rift Guardian when we reach the Rift Guardian. This is going to help. The shielding really... Not, but thankfully I put a hydro underneath it so when everything else died, it went down pretty quick. 
I'm feeling a lot better about this rift now. Those orbs have given us the buffer that we need. It's not going to be a 10 minute run, but it's not going to be slow either. Power pylon and two packs. Great. Bang. Absolutely obliterated them both. Okay, nothing up there. Tiny bit while finishing up our explosions. Yeah, we're we're going to be fine. I'll probably put the difficulty up um, two for the next, so we'll go up to ninety-two. See how that feels. I probably could have gone straight to ninety-one on this one, but it's been such a while since we've uh, done that GR eighty-nine. And all, all it takes is one bit going badly, and then you're like, eh, maybe I should have done something a bit more cautious. You've got to remember, we do have three cheat deaths, though. Of course, that doesn't mean we should be uh, being reckless, but... We can afford to take a few risks. these bits. These guys making everyone invincible for a second while they're like frenzied. It's, it's annoying because it's making me um, think I've done enough to clear an area but really I should have just moved on. Uh, we've still got our shield pylon, so we're really not worried. Escandial is taking a bit of a licking. GR90 done. That took us five minutes. Nine, nine minutes remaining. Okay, uh, I'm going to put these in evenly across the board. Because... Seems like the most sensible thing. We head back to town and we'll jump into another. Oh, we've got some levels that we can put in as well, of course. So, one, two, three, four. All the way up to 92. And we are off. There's a lot of range damage coming in. Which is probably my, my biggest weakness. And shielding, of course. You know, the, the two things that I, I dislike... And poison things. And frozen things. Basically everything. Don't run away, mate. You're running away while shielded. That's just rude. Okay. At least we got those orbs.
Yeah, this is all fine. Once I get a couple of those um, champion packs and elites under my belt, it feels a little bit less worrisome that there's a time limit on things. And it is all just um, in my brain because our progress is, is consistent across the difficulty levels. We're not going to go up to difficulty levels and then all of a sudden everything is impossibly hard. It will be notably more dangerous, but... That's always going to be dependent on the mobs as well. Big old juggernaut. Take him down. And that elemental twerker at the back as well. Alright. Back the other way we go. That's reasonable. Couple of good explosions. Hey, there's a shield pilot. Did he just teleport away from that? I think he did. Yeah, when they've got so many um, ads around them, it can make it hard for the Hydra to target what I want it to target. And, you know, you can't control what the type, uh, what the Hydra decides it's going to shoot at. Okay, we've still got plenty of shield left. This guy down in the bottom corner. Oh, he was with those little moth things. I did wonder what he was doing down there by himself. Okay, well, he's dead, so they can they can be ignored. And we can get a nice big group together. Right, let's grab that conduit. Amazing. Right, who is next? Power pilot, perfect. We don't have our shielding anymore, but... We should get the Infernal Maiden gone in a fraction of a second. There we go. GR 92 done. So, Hershey. Uh, well, let's um, once again put all of these in nice and evenly. Well, ID our stuff 
do our levels and then we'll go in for our final one. I don't think we were fast enough to have three levels available. So we'll just have to see. Who is that? Uh, ooh. Uh, we would want to re-roll that regenerate into resource cost reduction, but we've got a better mantle of channeling. There we go. Okay, uh, don't care, don't care. Mm. Don't care. Don't care about most of these. That's amusing. Yep, the rest is all going under the hammer. And you can spend months and months and months of your life grinding out materials, re-rolling items, and truly hoping to to get those those ideal things to to push yourself further in the greater rifts. But I'm I'm a casual player. This is what episode uh, 34 ish probably, and if I can get through with 34 less than hour long sections, anyone can get through in a season. Now, full disclaimer, this is of course on PC and I have been playing it for a very long time and I, I look at the resources like um, Icy Veins to see what the current um, ideas are regarding the season themes and any item redesigns and, and things like that that have come through in the patch notes. Um, but it's, it's really not hard as long as the RNG looks favourably on you because most builds revolve around one item and if you don't have that one item you have to go sideways before you can go up okay gr94 it's the final one let's give it a go and this this might actually be too much for us i don't know especially if they make me run away It's not too much, but we're going to be fine. But there's always that li little bit of trepidation when you think, eh, has their health scaled up that much more than I expected? Why is this not doing the damage I want it to? As long as they're making me run away it's gonna be painful to deal with so let's try and get you exploded and I wonder if we can we can ignore the rest no I, I need you dead because if you could just keep putting arcane things around That'll do. We can we can outrun the remaining one. Or hit him with the conduit. That's also an option. Shielding. Not for me, for them. Haven't triggered a death, though. So in terms of, like, our survivability we're we're totally fine it does definitely feel like the mobs are a bit stronger than they were no thank you not touching <laughs> right, that's all those purple orbs Push on down this. No, not this way. That is the wrong way to go. Okay, 
into the caves. I think we'd spend a, a little bit of time just killing some of the little, little mobs. It takes us about the same amount of time to take them down as it does to take down one big elite pack. Uh, mostly with the big tamale in, of course, because that's all we actually care about. Yeah, it's... It's the ads getting in the way of the Hydra that's really stopping things. Uh, and I suppose this is the point when um, when getting the mirror images out is really going to uh, be useful for the meta. Purple orb over there. May as well explode on these guys before I leave. Only polite. And that just connects back with where it was. And oh, it does actually go on. No, I'm not very far up here. Okay, let's follow it the other direction then. Let's not stand directly on that arcane beam. I was I was watching the cooldown for explosive blast while in the middle of all of that and just going right I can I can hit it again I can hit it again we do still have our shield pile and so I'm not worried about getting injured but you get in the habit of standing in dangerous situations like that and you will get in the habit of dying when your shield wears off Riff Guardian time. There we go. 94. GR94 done in six minutes on the dot. That is the furthest that I've ever gone. We'll put our points in, but uh, that is uh, that is actually where we're going to be finishing this season. Let's just head back to town and we'll see if we got anything interesting from that. I don't think so. I think we've only got that uh, that one primal ancient and that's on Cormac. My could see me. Oh. So we made it up to Garrigan 668, which is pretty cool. Five bed shoulders. Yeah, bits and bobs. None of them massively interesting. Uh, but this has been a fun season. It's been a fun season. There is such a definite power creep going on, though. Oh, my word. The the balance of, of what's going into the actual leveling process versus the end game content is so skew with, with Diablo at the moment. I'm still very much enjoying it, but compared with, like, five seasons ago, ten seasons ago, it is so, so different. I am curious to see what they come out with for the next um, season theme, uh, but there's there's going to have to be some kind of uh, balancing and adjustment of the, uh, of the gear. Unless this becomes the new norm. If this becomes the new norm, then maybe racing to GR70 is not going to be that unheard of. 
Either way, this has been a lot of fun. If you have enjoyed, be sure to give a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do so, and you'll be told well when the next season goes live. Otherwise, I'll see you next time for some more Diablo 3. See you soon!